What features do we expect in a smart car by 2030? Not just a fashionable looks, but green, safer, and intuitive, or even without people driving. Realization of most of these features requires one important technology, wireless communications. Wireless communication enables many applications related to safety, driving assistance, traffic management, and travel comfort. Not surprisingly, road safety applications are today's urgent need, due to the large number of road accidents, and its socioeconomic impacts. To reduce the risk and severity of a road crash, we can use wireless communications among vehicles, or among vehicles and roadside units. However, the existing solutions cannot provide reliable vehicular communications for road safety applications. Therefore, we developed VMAC, based on time division multiple access, which can assign time slots to vehicles without any central controller. Computer simulations are conducted to compare VMAC with the existing standard. We simulate the road network around the University of Waterloo and a segment of Highway 401 in the Canadian province of Ontario. Vehicle traces generated from these simulation scenarios are then input to a network simulator which evaluates the ability of VMAC to deliver the safety messages broadcast by the vehicles. We also considered a case when a vehicle suddenly performs an emergency parking on the highway. Our study shows that the VMAC performs much better than the existing solution in all the cases. To test the VMAC protocol via real experiments, we have developed this prototype that includes an Arduino board with a microcontroller implementing the VMAC protocol, a GPS module that provides a one pulse per second signal for synchronization, a transceiver module, an LCD, and to develop safety applications based on VMAC, there is another microcontroller, an accelerometer, and a digital buzzer. And then we have a dipole antenna, a GPS antenna, a 9-volt battery to power the module, and some connecting wires. To test the validity of the VMAC protocol, different lab experiments have been conducted by using multiple units of the VMAC prototype. In this experiment, there are 10 VMAC modules, representing 10 vehicles within the communication range of each other, and we have different cameras, each focusing on a different group of modules, where each LCD displays the ID of the vehicle and the index of the time slot it is currently acquiring. As shown in this table, by using VMAC, each vehicle acquires a distinct time slot to successfully broadcast its safety messages to all the surrounding vehicles. To demonstrate how this time slot assignment is done by VMAC without any central controller, we reset all the modules, as if each vehicle is just started. As you can see, when a vehicle is started, the VMAC module spends few seconds to synchronize using the GPS one pulse per second signal, and then acquires a time slot to start broadcasting the safety messages of the vehicle. Note the challenging setup of this experiment, as the number of time slots per frame is set to only 10, which is no more than the number of contending vehicles. To show that there is no pre-configuration of this time slot assignment, we reset the modules one more time and each module acquires a time slot that is different from all the other modules, and not necessarily the same time slot it was acquiring after the first reset. Also, a vehicle can access more than one time slot per frame if it has a large amount of safety messages to be broadcast, such as vehicles 2, 3, and 4. We now reset the modules to demonstrate this VMAC feature, and after the initialization period, each module acquires the required number of time slots without any conflict. To demonstrate the great potential of the VMAC protocol for enhancing road safety, we have developed two safety applications based on VMAC. The first of these applications is to avoid collisions in a sharp curve road. Consider this case, where an unmoving vehicle in a sharp curve is not in sight of the oncoming drivers, posing a risk of collision. In such a case, by exchanging safety messages using VMAC, the developed application detects the unmoving vehicle and informs the driver of the separating distance. In the absence of such application, by the time when the oncoming driver detects the unmoving vehicle, the driver may not have enough time to avoid a collision due to the short distance between them. The second application is to alert a driver of an emergency brake on the road. To demonstrate the application, we have three vehicles driving on the same lane, and vehicles 1 and 3 are equipped with VMAC prototypes. When vehicle 1 applies a hard brake, regardless of the reaction of vehicle 2, vehicle 3 can instantly detect the hard brake through the VMAC prototype. To summarize, we present VMAC, a novel vehicular networking scheme, which can change the safety standards of future cars. Thank you very much for watching.